Okay. 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 We are going to talk about normal people. Hello, lovely humans. This is Riki from Riki Like Magic, and Shibi says hi. Welcome, and this is kind of impromptu and out of nowhere and something new and something strange this way comes. <laughs> I want to talk about Normal People, which is a TV show that aired on BBC3 and RTE. It is written by an Irish woman called Sally Rooney, and it's a TV adaptation, the show that I'm talking about right now today. You can watch it on RTE Player or BBC Three, so you might need a VPN because I know a lot of you are from America who watch me. I feel compelled to talk about it, even though this channel doesn't talk about TV shows. I watch a lot of TV. TV is actually a huge part of my life. It's something I consume a lot of. I actually would consider it a hobby if it wasn't looked down on as like something unproductive or lazy because the art form of TV really inspires me and helps me through my life. And normal people fully transformed and changed my life. I think it's safe to say that. I don't think I'm completely a different person, but it had an extremely deep impact on me. And so I just kind of wanted to sit down in front of the camera and chat about it. And if you get something from it, great. And if not, that's fine too. And I think this channel, I don't talk about TV on this channel, but I talk about life and I talk about mental health and I talk about transforming your life. I don't know, I believe in all these things that that was really deeply represented in normal people. So I'll just talk about like how I started watching it because it came out and it was a huge success in Ireland and I refused to watch it because I actually knew that I would love it and I wasn't ready to watch it. Those were two things that I knew just immediately, like gut instinct wise, that I was going to love it and that I wasn't ready to watch it right now. I've been, I've been going through a lot the last couple of years and then it's kind of all been coming to a head in my therapy the last month or two. And so it was all happening for me in my own life when Normal People came out and I was like, no, too much, it's just too much. So Normal People is a drama and a romance, but it's just so much more than that in my opinion. I'm speaking about it from an Irish person's context but also someone, because my mother is French, so also someone who has felt like an outsider in Irish culture. This is a small country, and so it has a very particular way of being, and being raised by a French mother and an Irish father, I picked up very French cultural ways of being in the world that wasn't very accepted in Ireland. And in Ireland, I'm not accepted as an Irish person and in France, I'm not accepted as a French person. So it was so interesting watching this show because essentially it's these two people. I don't think there's gonna be spoilers in this. I don't think there's going to be spoilers in this, but essentially it's a very long period of time in normal people. It's set over a long period of time and it's of the relationship between a man and a woman from secondary school, which would be high school, so they're 17, 18, to mid 20s. And it's about love, it's very much about love, but it's about how they have to navigate and negotiate that love through a way Irish people communicate. And Irish people don't communicate that well, we're not the best. This has had kind of worldwide success as well from what I've gathered because they were on James Corden, the late, the late, late show with James Corden recently. So actually it, it's, it's in America. What's on Hulu? Lads, I'm just so like Irish insular at the moment. It's on Hulu as well. So maybe a lot of you have seen it. These are all themes within it that are extremely relatable no matter where you come from. However, watching it as an Irish person, I was like, this is literally like watching my life in a mirror. Now I haven't been through the details and the unique situations that they are through, like the protagonists have gone through, but the way I have tried to communicate with Irish men as I would view myself as an Irish woman in this context, it was exactly the same, it was exactly the same. 
And so I didn't watch it when it was first blowing up and then I felt better and more settled and grounded enough to watch it. And several things had to happen while I watched the fecking series. I decided I couldn't watch it at night because two nights, like not even in a row, two nights where I watched it at nighttime, I had nightmares about the show. Nightmares! It's a drama and a romance, but I had nightmares based off of my own past pain that I have had in relationships in my life because watching the show was echoing the pain that I have been through as an Irish woman in relationship with Irish men. So that was one rule that, I, that came out of that. Another rule was I had to ban myself from watching a lot together. I watched three in a row one night because they're only half an hour so they're very easy to watch and they're very slow and very subtle so it feels like nothing has happened even though so much has happened when you watch a show. I couldn't, it was too much. It was too painful. It was actually really painful for me to watch in a very healing way. Like it brought up this stuff that I had been through but it was painful, like it was really intense to watch. And I'm only making this video because when I chatted about it with my other friends, I came to them talking about this show thinking that I was this sensitive ball of feelings that just couldn't handle anything. And I felt much better because talking about it with my friends, they also came to me and was like, I can't watch it. A couple of them, you know, some of them watched this show and was like, it's a great show and that's it. And some of them echoed some of my own sentiments and described how they couldn't watch it all at once either. They really had to give themselves a couple of days in between maybe watching one or two episodes because it was too real. That's what we all kept saying to each other. It's too real. It's too truthful. It is set and written and filmed in a certain way that is so achingly beautiful and heartbreakingly hard to watch because it is real life. I watched a review on this show and someone put it really well is that it doesn't patronize their audience. It doesn't patronize teenage love, first of all, and it doesn't patronize one's audience in saying like, like this is how real people speak to each other. This is how real people, in Ireland anyway, maybe in the world if it's getting, if people are relating to this so much. But in Ireland, there is so much said in the silences between people and in the words that you don't say. If I were to put us talking in a nutshell. And there could be Irish people that watch this video and think I'm being really general and there's so much more nuance than that. And I would really, I would love to have a conversation about that, but this is certainly my experience. I know it's a big thing to say and generalizations are never very helpful, but I am just saying that when watching this show, I actually have told my foreign friends, my Korean and American friends, if you want to understand why you don't understand what has just happened in that conversation between Irish people for you, watch this show like genuinely, there's something that we never say in this country. And I'm a very direct person. I'm actually very comfortable with being vulnerable and very comfortable with being honest. And I have got in trouble for that and been punished for that a lot in my life in this country because French culture is very different. So you really just ask for, you, for what you want and say what you think and have a conversation about that. You just don't do that in Ireland. There's a hundred million ways you can say one thing and Irish people, again, Irish people is very general also, but we read each other's silences and kind of actions, like semi. You really have to read between the lines in Ireland. And I'm not really that kind of a person. And actually one of the, one of the main characters in Normal People really speaks her mind, but it comes from a place of pain as well. So she gets into a lot of trouble. And I'm just like, lads, watch this show, watch it. You mightn't even get what I got from it, but I kind of just want to gush about it for a second. And as well, there's this kind of beautiful healing that happens within all of the shite ways they talk to each other. Because it's not helpful. It's not helpful for relationships. Their relationship really suffers because they, they can't just say the thing. They can't just say the thing. For whatever reason, I think there's a myriad of reasons why we can't just say the thing in Ireland and maybe the, the whole world. Like there's a lot of shame, there's been a lot of abuse or trauma and it just masks you and you hide behind that and hope or almost expect or need that the other person is able to read your mind. That's what is needed. And if they can't read your mind, then they're not worth your time. 
and you're just going to go over here and maybe break up with them or not talk to them anymore. And this is just, I mean, I've done this. I'm not saying that I'm immune to any of this stuff that I've watched. I've done it all. And watching it was so, all of the feelings, all of the really deep core pain <laughs> was expressed so beautifully in this show. It's a human problem, but I'm so proud that this came from an Irish mind, you know, and then in partnership with English artists as well, that they made this piece of, in my opinion, perfect television, because I think the ending is perfect as well. I think it's real life. It's like the closest thing to real life I've ever watched, maybe alongside Fleabag. I know Fleabag is very fourth wall and surreal in a way, but I find it very true to life also. And I'm just a little obsessed with this show. Not obsessed, I'm not gonna say obsessed. Obsessed means like fangirling. Like it affirmed experiences I had had in this country outside of conversations with my friends. It affirmed like on a, on a national scale that this shit is happening in our country, pardon my language. And while being Irish is a wonderful thing, I think Irish people are actually some of the most special people I've ever met. There's a lot we get wrong. It was shown so beautifully in this show. So if you want to know what dating in Ireland between two straight people is like, watch this show. I've been hurt a lot by Irish men and I, as is human, have harbored a lot of bitterness and resentment and anger towards Irish men. But watching this show allowed me, the protagonist, the male protagonist is a wonderful human being and he also hurts a lot of people. So those two can exist together and watching this show made me realize that the people who hurt you, first of all, may not be doing it intentionally in any way, shape or form. And secondly, are, are probably hurting themselves. And I know we all know this like cognitively, but this was such, it was, and um, that's what art does. It helps you to know it in, in a body way. And watching this, it, I think it brought up so much to me. It gave me nightmares because it was me having to realize that we're, we're all just trying our best. We're all just trying to, we can be very well-intentioned, kind, good people and still break and destroy everything around us. And it was interesting talking to my friend about, like I literally with my friend, my best friend, I, we sent each other, I'd say over 30 minutes worth of just voice messages talking about this show. And so there's so much of real life in this television program. I can't, like, I can't. I can't get over how art can actually spiritually, mentally and emotionally change you. I can't get over it. And, and I'm so proud this was accepted, this is accepted worldwide and celebrated worldwide. And it comes from Ireland because there's, now there's a lot of pain in every country. There's a lot of pain in Ireland. And to be able to have that little bit of a story that's just revered is I think very healing. I think it's done something to people. And I keep turning people towards it and go watch normal people if you just want to understand this a little bit, especially if you're if you're not from Ireland. I put it on to a bunch of people and then a Korean friend of mine was like, so I watched the first episode and she went, there's a lot of silence and subtle stuff happening. She said this in an almost confused way and I was like, yep. She had come to a bunch of us with all of these issues about like, I don't understand what my housemate is trying to tell me. I don't understand why he does this, this and this. And I'm like, because there's so much happening in the silences and he thinks he's communicating to you through the silences and we just know how to read those silences but it's not helpful in the long run because you nobody can read minds nobody can give you what you need or desire if you don't expressly say it and i wish that for irish men and women one day i wish that i really wish that <sighs> oh I know this is a bit strange, like this was a bit strange, wasn't it, to be talking about this. I don't normally do this on this channel, but I just kind of wanted to gush, maybe give free advertising, to normal, although it doesn't think I need it and my channel is tiny, and maybe to give an insight into my own experiences of being an Irish woman. She experiences a lot of abuse in the show and internalizes that abuse later in life and kind of almost asks for that abuse later in life. And while it, it has never been that intense for me in my own life, I very much, especially in the later years watching her, I really 
resonated with that. Women tend to kind of self-flagellate and internalize mental health issues and men tend to externalize it by doing destructive things and women kind of self-destruct uh, on the whole, very, very generally. And watching her as well was, it's like I've been through all of that in my own way. We'll just keep hurting each other then. We'll just keep hurting each other. It compounds and it layers and we just keep throwing our stuff at each other rather than softening and, and just telling the truth. <laughs> so uh, let me know what what you thought of this video. I'll never do it again if uh, this was like, what the hell, Ricky. If you've watched it, tell me what you thought of it, please. I would love to hear how it affected you or didn't affect you. I know some people who just watched it thought it was great and then moved on with their lives, but it's been sticking with me for a very long time and it's really changed me. And if you haven't seen it, watch it. Yeah, I don't know, chat to me, chat to me in the comments. Circle time in the comments is a safe place and fun place for you to tell me your experiences of whatever we've been talking about. So thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this video, you can like, you can subscribe, you can ring the little bell that gives you all the notifications. You can share it with your friends and you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Remember, you are who you choose to be and you're part of something bigger and deeper than yourself. And should be says bye. Should be. No. Says bye.